Yo, what is going on, guys? Join back in another video, and today, man, coming at you with another video. Today, I'll be talking about the Miami Heat and how they are still struggling. Now, one of my main reasons for making this video is the Heat literally just lost to the Detroit Pistons, who are three and nine by twenty points today, and it was just super infuriating because the team that we saw last year in the finals and the playoffs is not the team that we're seeing this season at all. Even though just about everybody on the team right now is on the team last season, which it's just very, very weird why they're playing so much different now and they can't cohese and have the same chemistry they had last season. Another thing is that he currently are first in NBA right now in terms of turnovers. Leading the league in turnovers is never a good thing, especially for the Miami Heat who are now 4-7 and seven and towards the bottom of the Eastern Conference. The Miami Heat have now lost three games in a row. Losing two to Philly without Jimmy and Bam, and losing today against the Pistons without Hero and without Jimmy Butler. Now I wasn't too concerned about losing to Philly because they had both Embiid and Ben Simmons, and we didn't have anybody of that caliber at all. And then there's today where the Miami Heat lose, like I said, to the Pistons by 20 points today. The Pistons are at the bottom of the standings for a reason. They're not a very good team at all. They're obviously near the bottom because they're obviously, like I said, not a good team at all, and. We when you lose to the team like the Pistons, that is just a wake-up call to get your act straight. Now, about two weeks ago, I made a video talking about how the Heat are struggling. And all the comments were, were like, oh, it's only been five games. And I agree with them because it was early into the season. But now, we are 11 games into the season. And we are still struggling to get a streak going along. And we are playing down to our competition. Which is something that you never want to do. Now, the number one thing that the Heat need to work on is simply one word, and that one word is turnovers. They need to stop leading the They turnovers. need to get their act up. They need to take better care of the ball. They need to get their players healthy and play with their full team because we've had a lot of players hit by the injury bug and a lot of players hit with the virus, and we haven't really played with our full team for many games this season at all, which is, again, why I'm not super concerned. But like I said again, Losing to the last place in the Eastern Conference at 15, the Detroit Pistons, is not a good look at all. And is, like I said, is a wake-up call to get your act up and start playing better basketball. Tons of other teams are going through injuries and viruses and all of this. So, we're not the only team going through this. So, we have to fight like them as well and just deal with it, honestly. Because... At the end of the day, basketball, a lot of things can happen during this. So you just have to do what you can do and just make the most out of your opportunities because now without players like Jimmy Butler on the Heat because of the virus and all of this, we've seen guys like Casey Ocapolo who had a good game today against the Pistons. We see him getting his time and finally getting his moment and it's going to be pretty, pretty good basketball today. So we have to also take advantage of giving guys like him more minutes and giving guys like him more play time and giving guys like him more confidence in his game now. But I guess that is an upside of that. But I would obviously love to have Jimmy Butler in instead. But we have to deal with what we have to deal with. This is so infuriating seeing the Heat play such bad basketball. they seeing them at their high last season. And like a lot, we look like literally two completely opposite teams. And we're giving all the people that hate us all the fuel to call our final run a fluke and a mickey mouse run and all this we're just feeding them with so much fuel but hopefully we end up picking this up and hopefully we can start playing a lot better basketball and work our way to climbing up the eastern conference standing boards and playing some pretty good basketball in the next coming week other than that y'all that is the video make sure to go down below drop a like comment down below your opinion on the Miami heat and the recent struggles well then that make sure to follow me on twitter it's been your boy john who got the end of the video and i'm out man peace